Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Cindy Morales. Welcome to my channel. And today, we're going to be talking about periods. I've been having my period since I was nine years old, so I think I've accumulated a lot of information about periods and just the tips and tricks and how to deal with it. So, if you're experiencing going through your period whenever you're bleeding a lot down there in your vagina area, you're bleeding and you're going through your period. Okay, so usually a period, in the beginning for me, it usually lasted like the five, um, five days. Usually it starts off very heavy and then kind of dwindles down from there. So, you know, that happens. So, but lately I'll tell you why it's been changing a little bit and it's been kind of like a medium in the beginning and then kind of working its way down, you know, to like a lighter period. But I'll tell you guys everything I use. A lot of this stuff I do not have, so I'll be putting a picture like on either side right here about what I'm talking about. But of course, the number one thing is the pants. And whenever you are having a period, you know, you have to obviously catch all that blood. So the pads I usually use. These are new, but the ones I usually use is in the orange package. Um so the ones I use is usually the number four, the orange package right here. I'll put a picture over here. And, but for whenever I go to sleep, I use these always ultra thin, these um, overnight pads. And the reason I use obviously like pretty big pads is because I'm a pretty big girl. So, you know, everything's bigger. So if you guys don't know, this is a pretty big pad as you guys can see and this is, I usually use this for like overnight whenever I'm sleeping and it's very helpful because the tail on the end is like super long so it usually catches all the blood that usually like slips up to the your bottom area and if you guys don't want to get a pad like this big or if it doesn't fit you then that's fine. What you can do, a little tip is you guys can get a normal size pad and then you guys can get a panty liner it's like a very little thing i can put pictures i'll put pictures for references um i used to do this whenever i was younger and obviously i didn't use like such big pads but i would get a panty liner put it in the back so it would catch more blood and sometimes i know it's annoying but sometimes even whenever you put that panty liner on the blood literally just like an inch it like it goes on your underwear <laughs> it happens but this is the pad i usually use for overnight and then the pad um i usually use every single day is the orange pad and i'll put the pictures obviously and link everything down below so that's what i use i whenever i got to around 17 18 16 i guess from like 16 and up i started to like double like not double anything but i used to start wearing tampons and then I would wear a pad for the orange one. So I would use a tampon and um, an orange pad. And that would just like make me just feel more safe and not like I'm about to stain. So whenever I got older, I started using tampons. Um, I just feel like it's hard in the beginning to like put it up there. But it gets easier over time. But that really helps a lot. That kind of like calmed me down about not staining as much because tampons really do work um i recommend if you do use a tampon to have a pad or a panty liner right there uh, because usually whenever as soon as you put up the tampon even whenever you wipe a little bit of blood comes out in the very beginning but you know throughout the day obviously not blood is not going to be coming out anymore but whenever you first put it up there a little bit might, might slip out so put a panty line in there or uh, a pad but I usually put the orange pad just for my safety and convenience just so I don't stain now I'm pretty sure every girl has stained when they had their period and I've stained without having a sweater before so this is what I'm telling you guys whenever you're on your period always carry around a sweater so like it doesn't matter what sweater, this sweater is like inside out, it's whatever. But you know, just tie it around your waist <laughs> with these things and tie it around your waist or something and it'll be good to go for you 
to have enough time to go back home or whatever the case may be. So staining does happen. I'm pretty sure it happens to most girls trying to deal with it. I had to deal with it at nine years old at a very young age with a period. So I really didn't have any clue what was going on. Well, I did, but just like how you have to take care of yourself. So it's crazy. But yeah, so dealing with that was crazy at a young age. But I'm telling you guys now, bring a sweater everywhere you go. I'm pretty sure people will notice if it's like summer and you're bringing a sweater around. But honestly, people don't really care. Bring a light sweater, a cardigan, or something. Just something that would cover up the blood. What I do recommend mostly though is to wear black pants. Wear black pants, wear black, le black leggings something like black or something so it would be better like if you do stain if you're not using tampons so just you know make sure you're kind of like just black pants in general but if you're not then you can just go with the tampons and the pad and you'll be really secured so just know that staining does happen if you're having if you have horrible cramps like I had you're going to want to take some Midol. I, I use Midol. I'll put the Midol that I use up here. So Midol was a big help. Like a huge help. I didn't use it too often because my mom didn't want me to use it too often. But I just kind of started buying, buying Midol on my own because I had horrible cramps. Like I needed to use Midol. So I started using Midol and the Midol really does help. Also, what you want to do to kind of help with the cramping is also have like a heating pad if you can get one. A heating pad is a very helpful, like put it on your back, put it in your stomach area so you're not feeling so like you wanting to die because you have cramps. Cramps are a bad thing and trust me, I had really bad cramps. There has been times in high school where I would literally have to like go to the nurse's office because my cramps were that severe. I remember one time I was out with my parents and we went out to dinner, dinner or lunch or something. And my cramps were just terrible. They always have been so bad. It's like one month they're not bad and then the next month they're just terrible. They're like unbearing. I don't know why that happened with me, but Mida really does help. Sometimes my mom even had to give me a shot before because the pain was so bad. But just letting you know I had really bad cramps so I really know how that is. But heating pads really do work. I'll, t I'll tell you kind of other things you guys can do. Now, with the pads and whenever cleaning up comes in place, I really recommend you guys to use like baby wipes. Whenever you guys go to the restroom, you guys can get like a compact one. Or get like, you know, this big of a purse. This is not a huge purse, but you guys can fit in some. You guys can fit in some wipes. I know these are makeup wipes. Trust me, I know. I don't use these. I use baby wipes. So I'm just like referencing, like, you know, it can fit in here easily. If you guys cannot find compact little ones, I'm pretty sure there's compact little ones that are specifically made for your um, for like periods. I'm sure of that, but baby wipes work just fine just to kind of like clean up the area and just like freshen yourself up. So I highly recommend using baby wipes because that just makes everything easier and you just feel more refreshed and ready to go. So I would recommend buying, you know, just like the regular baby wipe container, maybe just like a little bit compressed one. I'll try to get a picture of the ones I use. And it's and for like at home use whenever you're at home try to get like a bigger container just so you can always have in there and just one for your purse or for your backpack or school whatever it may be i know in like high school it's kind of like you know really it's really hard to get away with like your period items you know with your tampons or with your pads or like any of that stuff but I always kind of had a little bit, a little bag with me. So you do, if you are in like high school or middle school or even elementary and you're having your period, then I would kind of try to invest in maybe a little more compact um, type of type of wipes for you. So you can like easily just like sneak them in if you're worried about people seeing them. I really personally didn't care that much. So I would take like the big, you know things into the restroom I didn't really care that much because like everyone knows you have a period like 
if people get grossed out with them they're just childish <laughs> but make sure you guys use like some baby wipes or something i feel like that's just an easy way just to feel like very refreshed and clean and all of that whenever you're bleeding so also something that i use is the app called clue if you guys don't know about it i really suggest you guys get it so it's just I can probably do like a little screen recording and put it right here instead. So I'm just going to do that. So I just have a screen recording right now. So I'll put the little screenshot on the side over here. I guess like over there. <laughs> so basically I have, um, as you guys can see, this is whenever I take my birth control right there. And then these days in the reds, those are whenever I'm having my period. So mine really ranges around three, two days. It just depends. So you guys can see like, oh, I was bleeding light this day and I had cramps, you know. And then, you know, pain cramps and bleeding medium and then bleeding medium I had a headache that day, cramps, and I was bleeding a lot. Well, bleeding medium. At the beginning, I was bleeding a light, pain, cramps, bleeding a light, bleeding a light, and then I started my pill taken, and you guys can see it all throughout. And with this app, it really tells you, like, it's really spot on with, um, see, medium, medium, bleeding medium, um, you guys, it really does um, kind of show you, oh, hey, like, I took, like, it's really spot on with telling you when your period is. So, I really recommend this app. Um, you guys can just log in stuff. So, like, for today, if I were to start my period, then you would just, where it has a little bleeding thing, you would put light, medium, heavy, spotting, or whatever it may be and then you can go over here where it says cramps headache ovulation or tender breast and emotions how you're even feeling if you're feeling happy sensitive sad or you're PMSing and how many hours of sleep did you get also if you had sex unprotected protected um, how you're dealing with that and also if you're taking birth control if you're taking it if you're late if you doubled up because you missed one or if you missed one so I really think Clue is like a very good app that everyone should use because it really does keep track of your period like through an app and you just have to, you know, remember to put it in, obviously. I really think it's a good app and I really recommend you guys use this app so you guys can keep track of whenever your period is coming so you guys can always have like some pads, tampons, the little wipes, some Midol in your bag. So you guys are prepared. Also, what you can do, I know this has happened many times in my school where I've had, um, I've stained, I, I didn't go through my pants, but like I stained the underwear and it was just very uncomfortable because like, you know, the blood is still wet. So I would always carry, um, I don't usually do this anymore since I'm in college and I don't really spend that much time on campus. I just go for like two hours, three hours maybe and just go back to my apartment. But whenever I was in high school or middle school and you're going from 8 a.m. to like 4 p.m., like it's very good to carry an extra pair of underwear just in case you do bleed um, on your underwear but not through your pants so it feels better. Now, we're going to talk about if you had horrible cramps before. I've had terrible cramps before. Like they were really bad. Like I've been having times where I feel like I needed to pass out from the pain. So, a lot of girls usually get on birth control if they are having this type of cramps. So, they usually get on um, a type of birth control. And this is the one I'm on. This one is called Monessa Tab. So, you know, if you are having terrible cramps, then I highly recommend you guys looking into getting a birth control. Maybe that would help for you. Maybe it won't. Just an experimental type of thing for you guys to do. So, the way mine looks, let's cover that information, but it's just basically a little round thing, comes in a little thing, and you start at the very top, 
and then work your well yeah work your way where the little arrow is going work your way around it and the blue tabs are the active pills and then the green tabs are whenever you're on your period the week of your period and you're not taking them so with my experience um a plus plus it works perfect i haven't been having such bad cramps as i used to be having so it does it does really change the thing but it might not be the correct thing for you you just have to depend talk to your parents about it or whatever it may be but if you are having like terrible cramps that you can't focus or you it's just really bad trust me i've been there if my doll isn't <laughs> pulling the job through like sure i do still have cramps now but they're not nearly as bad as they used to be so with all that being said if you guys have any questions about periods like please put them in the comments down below or um i always put my instagram and twitter handles and all of that in the description box so you guys can feel free to like message me on there some of them i i, I am private on on my social media but some of them i'm also not so it just depends i know this was a very long tedious video but i'm glad i went through all of this because i don't know a lot of this information growing up i just kind of had to figure out what worked best for me um but you know if you're like these are pretty big pegs but for me they're not like that big i guess so use these for overnight you know they work go if i'm really do not want to stain and i don't want don't want to be dragging around a sweater you know a tampon and a pad it usually keeps me very protected always remember to change it out you know a good amount of time usually change it out like in four hours and then you know wipe yourself clean take my if you need to get a heating pad if you need to if you're really having those bad of a cramps and yeah i'm pretty sure i went through everything and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was a very informative about girls going through the periods i had my period at a very young age so i'm trying to give you guys this information so you guys know what to do and if you need any tips and tricks about a period and if you need to keep track of your period so you know when to start preparing for it the next time it comes around then i have the app for you so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and until next time Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and I forgot to tell you, I have a tattoo now. <laughs> that'll be like, it'll be a whole different like explaining. Um, 